Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today <laughs> it's about the Black Panther 2. The trailer just dropped and um, I know it's going to be directed by Ryan Coogler again. He knows what he wants and I, and, and I think he's going to set the bar a lot higher this time. Right now, go to the official Marvel Entertainment page. Let's go. Click. Here we go. This November. Jeez. Now there is a Black Panther. So there's going to be a Black Panther. Somebody's going to take the mantle. Um, I can't say from behind, but could be Sherry. There's a vibe. There's a vibe. There's a sad vibe about this. There's a sad vibe. Now, it's it's not just it's not only it's not only about the passing away of uh, Black Panther or Chadwick I think it's well done just from the trailer I can tell uh, but there's something there's something you see the song in the No Woman No Cry I can feel I can feel Angela Bassett's uh, pain she said, I've lost everything. I don't know everything because Sherry is still, you know, but she's, he's, she's gone through a lot. She's gone through a lot and um, lost her husband, her son. And, and it pretty looks like her sister. Well, hopefully this is her, but she said, I've lost everyone you know so maybe sherry got got uh, missing i will say that you see i have a way of detecting i you know i might be going into some spoiler mode now because um if you don't mind let's you know it's just that you won't know if it's true but i think Sherry must have been kidnapped or probably disappeared uh, for some reason and you know on this clip I see that um, there's already burning it looks like uh, 
she the black panther or whoever this is is gonna come at the last hour when the burning and all that has already when all hope is lost i think you know everything's gonna be all right you know but i think it's almost an impossible mission like at the last uh, minute help comes that's what i suspect but there's an underlying sadness there's an underlying sadness like anything can happen in this film like it may not go the way we want and and surprisingly we'll be forced to understand you know there's something good sad and sad at the same time about it there's something it's like when you're done watching this movie you will be satisfied however the outcome it's is there's a reassuring in the it's going to be all right but there's sadness there's sadness there's sadness uh, I know I, I know I still want to I can't wait to you know to actually start watching it but I I mean you should prepare your mind there is sadness I'm going to play it again I mean this is just <laughs> from watching it one time I'm going to play and hopefully I didn't talk too much now but I probably talk a lot more now so let's let's oh, the song yeah how would she feel his girlfriend and he never got married initially i thought she was the one giving birth but now i see it. she couldn't have been underwater so probably the atlantic story from the comics mm. i love this part perfect song Sherry's crying and here's the delivery this is this is these are people living under water hmm yeah see I saw li- people holding on to the ship or fish or shark and that somebody hanged someone is hanged there's space people from space people from like America or Jesus, Sherry is in trouble. You see what I said? She is around, and there's a new character there. I've never seen her before. That guy looks like trouble. He must be the villain. Umbaku is there. This expression shows all hope is lost. It's like, have I not given everything? Umbaku. Oh man, it's like the entire Wakanda is in trouble. Oh man, man, man. Wakanda forever, Wakanda forever. Man, I can't believe that, I'm, I'm feeling like like it's a true story like um Chadwick Boseman rest in peace rest in peace rest on this is good uh, I can tell it's gonna be a good movie, but like I said, prepare yourself. It's gonna be sad. It's gonna be sad, and even if you end up being sad, I think you're gonna be happy. You saw it. It's I don't understand what it's, where this movie is going, taking us emotionally through, but there's some serious emotion going on here.
Wakanda forever. That's why it's Wakanda forever. It's it's like do or die. We're not gonna we're not gonna let it die. We must we must overcome. Oh man. Well, uh, you guys. I mean, I'm happy. I'm excited about the movie, but I already know it's gonna be a sad movie. Um, but I still can't wait to watch it. So, um, you guys, let me know what you think. Comment below what your thoughts, uh, what you think about this um, movie. What's your expectation like? Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.